Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be installing this Harbor Freight Badlands 2500 pound ATV winch. Uh, I'm gonna be mounting it to this winch mount made for a hitch. So first things first, um, I'm gonna to wanna to look at the screws that comes with this mount. And as you can see, uh, it comes with all kinds of different screws, washers and bolts and whatnot. So first things, we're just going to set this aside and we're going to try to see uh, what holes line up with the mount and with the winch. So as you can see on the winch, there is kind of like a triangle uh, bolt pattern over here. We got three bolts going over here and one bolt on the bottom. So if you look at the winch mount, you can see that there's kind of a diamond pattern and there's holes all around over here. So with that, I can already tell that we're not gonna be able to get too many screws onto this mount. Um, I think we're only gonna be able to get uh, these two ones right over here. Uh, we got one over here, one over here, and we're only gonna be able to mount it on these two. Uh, I think it'll be s secure enough. Uh, we're not doing too much weight. Uh, mostly it's just going to be minor work, so I'm not really too worried about it. So let's see how we can get that mounted right here, which screws we're going to be using. So right away I just want to make sure that the bolts will fit on both see it fit through there, fit through this hole, so we're good. So we're gonna be using these two long screws that comes with the winch, not the mount. Uh, the mount did not come with any, um, any screws or bolts or anything like that. So we're gonna get two washers, these two bolts, and we're gonna get two nuts. We're gonna make sure before we put it on, that it is going to fit onto this nut. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna get the other one. And there we go, and it fits. All right, so this mount is facing um, this way, so we're gonna want the winch to face also this way. So we get that cleared up first and we're gonna set this aside. So like I said, we're gonna get this just put onto here and we're gonna try to line up those holes. I'm not sure if you can see me trying to line them up. But yeah, so we're gonna get this right here and then, there we go. So we're gonna drop this hole in right here. Actually, we're gonna want to raise the mount off of the, um, the platform so we can, the, the bolts can go through all the way. So I'm just gonna look for something to prop this thing up. Maybe it's like, so, like a box or something. I'm just gonna use two hard drives to put this thing on a, to raise it up so that the bolts can go through. So I'm gonna put one over here. And we're gonna put this one over here. Make sure it's not in the way of the holes. All right, so now the bolts should be able to go through. And we're just gonna lay that here, make sure it's facing the right way, as you can see. The winch is facing this way. All right, so we're gonna drop the first bolt in. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, just wanna make sure you do it right. And then this one over here. All right, so now we have both bolts in. Um, oh wait, we forgot to put the washers in actually. So we're gonna take them back out. washer in the bolt and 
ahead and just work it back in there. There we go. And then we're gonna do that on the other side. All right, so now we got the washer and got the bolt or screw in. We're just gonna take the nuts on the other side. And like I said, you, this is why you want to raise it up a little bit so you can get your hand underneath there and just makes things easier. I'm sure you can do it on the side and like uh, prop this up facing sideways and do it, but this is just much easier. It'll save you a lot of time and uh, frustration. <laughs> If you can just get two things to just to prop this thing up and get it down. Even then, we're gonna have to raise it up a little bit and then screw it in on the bottom side. All right, got that side in. Now we're gonna get this side in on the other side. And I'll show you after this, I'm not tightening every anything down yet. I'm just getting everything on there just to make sure it fits good. All right, so as you can see, there's two bolts over here, and on the other side, there are the two washers, and now we're just going to tighten them down, I mean, uh, two nuts on the other side, and uh, I think we're going to want to put some washers on them, or maybe we don't have to, uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of like a cone shaped or funnel shaped thing that just catches the bolts so i don't really think we need to get any washers uh, on the other side just want to make sure that these screws are straight while we're putting them in so i'm gonna skip over this part so you guys don't have to see and i'll be right back we got the winch mounted uh, to the truck uh, this is the two inch um, tow hitch and make sure that you lock it with the uh, pin here, the tow hitch pin securely and we are ready to test. Okay, so the way that we got hooked up right now is just using a uh, jumper cable. So I bought a, uh, a jumper cable uh, from Walmart, but you can pretty much buy any kinds of jumper cable um, that is, uh, I would say, uh, good enough for about 50 amp. This one is 4 gauge at 12 volt, it's uh, good enough for 50 amp. And so this side right here is just hooked up to the controller. And I have it hooked up to the jumper cable this way. Uh, put the boots here to, to make sure it's separated um, and then the other side of the cable of course goes to the battery just like that now I would recommend if you're just gonna be if you're gonna be using the the winch for a long time to make sure that your engine is on to make sure that uh, your uh, truck uh, gets powered all the time and of course since my particular purpose uh, is to actually just use this as a winch to pull um, something, a person, etc. Um, that's why I, ha I have it mounted on the tow hitch instead of the front of the truck, like the, a winch is uh, usually mounted. So this is for a particular purpose uh, or a special purpose. That's why we're using the, um, uh, what do you call it, a uh, jumper cable. Um, as a method of uh, wiring this thing, it, which is not typical, but it's temporary and I can use the jumper cable for other things, that's why. So this temporary method works, just make sure that um, obviously you can do better than using a boot to separate the uh, positive and negative. You can make something that is more permanent. Um, this works for me just for testing purposes and making this video right now.
Anyway, so we are going to test pulling and uh, using this remote right here. So this is remote comes with the uh, with the unit. It automatically turns off after you don't use it for a while. And the the way to turn it on is just simply um, to press the power button on off for about three seconds to turn it on or turn it off. Once it's on, the blue light here turns on, and you can use. Uh, the out and in uh, to operate the um, the winch. All right, so the winch is now connected. I don't know how many feet. I think it's this is already about 30 feet, and there's still plenty in there. So it's probably about what 35, maybe about 50 feet of. of uh, Try it. Okay, uh, 50 feet of uh, stainless steel uh, rope, and I'm going to pull my son in right now. Pretty slow. Hang on, let me see what it's doing. Like I said, this is very loud. That concludes our video um, about this winch from Harbor Freight along with the uh, tow hitch mount from Amazon. Uh, please look at the video description for all the links and uh, would appreciate if you want to buy the uh, tow hitch mount that you use our link in the description which is uh, Amazon affiliate link that give us some commission and help us uh, continue making these videos. And if you like the content of this video, of course, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel uh, for DIY Geek. And thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.